we are currently located in Carlo, and this is my brother Jack. Say hi. Hello, everybody. He's on TikTok. What is your name on TikTok? Just Joe Blade. You'll find me. I'm on Twitch, Joe Blade TV. And he's on TikTok. TikTok. And TikTok. I repeat. And sweet potato fries. Sweet potato fries. And I got the. What did I get? You tell me what you got. I got. Um. Now we're all in the same room. So, <laughs> give them one mic to have between each other. I can just pass it back and forth. No, because then you'll hear. It's okay. I. I no. I've got pretty good mic management. Years of professionalism. <laughs> On today's podcast show, we'll be talking about our day we had for Joe's 22nd birthday and Jess's 22nd birthday. So they got some mm -hmm. lovely scratch cards, and you tell them. Well, I won four euro, and Jess won a free ticket. Isn't that cool? And I got five tickets from a girl, a girl called Tara, because um, she works in the shop we got them in in the local town and um we got them i got them off of her um and don't mind that burp say excuse me excuse me um so um and yeah we got them off of her and we got five of them and i took one of them because one of them was an odd one out and i didn't win anything but on one of them i could have taken that one and i would have won four euro but i would have gave it to joe Gosh. because it's his birthday you're happy that you passed on the winning ticket to the birthday people. I am. I'm very happy about that. Not. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, then we went to Pam Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Pimento. Pimento. For some tapas. And some penis coladas. Pina colada. <laughs> this is... <laughs> It's not age appropriate. <laughs> I'm not the one who said it first. <laughs> yes, but we weren't live streaming. <laughs> We're not live streaming now because it would be in the edit. We don't need... It's be an edit. <laughs> <laughs> ah, she's beating me. Oh, no. Her I'm ticked. Oh, that's not the mic. So, um... <laughs> I'm beating him up now. <laughs> Okay, shush. Call the social worker. We don't need to hear that. So then we went to the tapas, and what did you get? Uh, I had uh, some beef with a small bed of mashed potato, mashed potato, and I also had some of Joe's patatas bravas. <laughs> Brave potatoes. Patatas bravas. <laughs> And then I had a little bit of Joe's calamari, and my other one was quesadilla. Quesadilla. I had two quesadillas, and they were a little bit. I would have made them better myself, to be honest. But that was the only kind of negatory point. I, I'm not finished. I had a, a nice pint of Guinness to start off with, but then my second Guinness, it was a bit warm, pulled too fast. It's kind of rotten. But hey. He's rotten. So, then what did you get? I had the barbecue pulled pork and sweet potato fries, which were pretty good. Uh, I'm not finished either. <laughs> I had a... What did I have? I also had a sex on the beach cocktail. Pretty good. Two, to be exact. Two. Two. Yeah, two. I had the barbecue brisket. I don't even know if it was barbecued. Um... I ordered a patatas bravas because every time I get tapas, I feel the need to get a patatas bravas. And I got the calamari as well. But I did make one error with my ordering. I was unaware that the brisket came on a bed of patatas bravas. So I doubled up the spuds <laughs> by mistake. But it worked out because then there was more bravas to share. And I had a, no, I had a pint of moretti, which was pretty nice the whole way down. And then I had a, oh, yeah. I had a pina colada, which was great. Massive improvement to the pina colada I got last year. So, yeah. <laughs> and I got some fish and chips. Fish fingers and chips. With, and um, some... You want really fish fingers. We just said this to keep you happy. 
Just fish. Yeah. Battered no, cod. but there was bre- it was breaded fish, yeah. and I also got some. Well, we got some nachos to get nachos to go in the middle. Still there? Yes, in the bag, and also my chips are still in there because I didn't finish them. And um, yeah, some nachos with some stuff. And um, I got, and then we went. After that, we went to for a little walk to the back. What What about your dessert? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So there was um. What did you get at the bar? At the bar, I had a, a glass of water and a cup of tea. <laughs> no, you didn't. I ha- oh yeah, two glasses of water and three cups of tea. No, he didn't. Okay, I had a Guinness. It was quite nice, but then I realised pretty soon into the Guinness, why am I drinking Guinness in 21 degree heat? So I looked enviously at the cocktail that Joe had, and I drank that with my eyes, and I decided, it's cocktail time. <laughs> so I popped into the bar with Joe, and we got a, a nice, cold Irish coffee. And I gotta say, it was delicious. It hit all the, all the good spots. And that was it, yeah. Then, what did Jess have? Jess, what did you have? I had three, I like to say, I think. Yeah, it was two. I'd like, two, two, okay. Mm-hmm. I had two Smirnoff ice. They were quite good. They were nice after the cocktails, because the cocktails can be quite heavy, so, you know. They were, so why are you they were good. At me? <laughs> they were good, I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking to the people. Who's the people? The people we're gonna post it on oh, yeah. Spotify. Our fans, I suppose, when, yeah. uh, is it my turn? Yes, it is. So I Joe. started the evening with a Long Island iced tea, which cleverly was named Ice Tea, <laughs> um, uh, because of the the, um, the pop culture cocktails that are served in this bar. They have Batman, Joker, <laughs> Superman. They have a Prince one. They have Purple Rain. Oh, Dad, you have to take so, the photo. Romeo and Juliet. So, yeah, the iced tea, which was nice. But um, I do question the authenticity of the iced tea because it wasn't very strong. It kind of just tasted like... Just what did you Coke. get, Joe? I'm explaining. It kind of just tasted <laughs> like uh, Coke and gin as opposed to the mix of alcohol the medley of alcohol that's supposed to be iced tea. and then i had a the same the same as my my dear father we iced <laughs> irish coffee and they were so nice we went back for a second one and i want to say i had a third drink did i so then comments with that too yeah in hindsight now actually as nice as the irish coffees were in terms of quantity of alcohol no i think two kind of properly made cocktails like that coffees you'd be a little bit more drunk than we are now so but that's not too bad it was still very tasty and very well presented that's the way i would and maybe that was for the best and maybe that was for the best it is an it was an evening family get together because it was an evening family no we didn't need to be off our trolley (laughs) so what so what I got was, first I started off the day with two glasses of apple juice in the place we went to first. I want to say pina colada. Pimento. Pimento. <laughs> and then we went to the bar and I got, I started, I started off the day with um, some apple juice as well because I was just gonna get something random and uh, and there didn't ha- I didn't know if they had any milk or something like that. So I just got a lovely apple juice. Then I was, then I got a mocktail with raspberry, strawberry and passion fruit mixed together with some lime. Lovely, the bartender was a very a nice and very lovely. Then I got another cock- mocktail, and um, after that, I said, Hit me up! <laughs> and she said, What would I like? So I said, um, uh, Some coconut and blueberry, I want to say. Blueberry, yes, blueberry. Blueberry, yes, blueberry, raspberry, and coconut. 
and that and then mix together in a cocktail whatever like you do and um i didn't finish it actually it was very lovely joe got into the into the real sophistics sophistics what's it called Sistic. statistics specifics specifics sophisticated cocktail no, like he got into all the, I I quite liked it, but the powder was a bit like kind of like that. So what I'm doing is that, and um, I didn't finish it because I also had another one after that that I got to make myself because the bartenders were so nice and loved my authentic charm. I still don't know what authentic means actually. <laughs> what does it mean? Authentic, genuine, real. My authentic charm so it is real my charm is real so i got to make myself a strawberry mocktail and i made it myself and i got to do all the shika shika shaky 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 and there'll be a picture up now of me doing the shika shaky shaka then i um i was drinking both of them i'll put up a picture of that now and there's a picture. Look, I'm. I have my two straws, my two mocktails, <laughs> and I am now mocktailed out. <laughs> so, and I also had a bit of um, Guinness cream. Yes, I, <laughs> yes, I did. I stuck my finger in your drink. <laughs> it was quite lovely. It was quite lovely. So, the, the thing we didn't speak about here was that um, in the twenty minutes before Leah's soiree into the land of mocktails she was very tired and i was very angry and she was very angry because the chair didn't recline no. and the sun no. was a little bit too no. bright the sun was very beaming and we were sitting outside and it was right in my eyes like right in my eyes and i wanted to kind of like sit in the chair and kind of like lean back and just kind of have my legs out but i couldn't do that when i was on on my phone because because when I was on my phone, I was just... Uh, oh, when I was playing Subway Surfers on a phone. On my phone. Okay, <laughs> a phone, but okay. I was using your dad's phone for a few okay. minutes. Okay, okay, not a few minutes. And I wanted to kind of like recline back, but the chairs were a little bit not doing that. But that was only me and I wasn't being picky. I was just very tired because I woke up at seven to feed my cats. So, my kittens, well, my grandad's kittens that I kind of claim mine as well. Anyway, yes, well, anything you guys would like to add? Just that, um... And every time I got a napkin... <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> I did that deliberately. Okay, go. Speaking I once thought your vape juice was... Absolute robbery. Hmm? <laughs> yeah. What? I once thought there was vape juice in my in the room, like, three, like... The th- last, the third last time I stayed, and I put some on my pillow because I thought it was pillow stuff. You know the lavender stuff you can get with the yeah. pillow. Yeah. She thought your vape juice was stuff. And then, and then I kind of smelled. I was like, mm, nice. And then when you said it was vape juice, I flipped my pillow and ran. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> two daisies. It's kind of beep it's that everywhere. out, Daddy. I'll beep that out. No problem. <laughs> Probably two years old from the bottom of a box. (laughs) Well, I'd like to say thanks to Paul for the little gift. Go, Paul. Thank you. Much appreciated. (laughs) Much appreciated. I'd like to say nothing. (laughs) (laughs) Thanks for all me mocktails, but the one I made, I got free. Thank you, bartenders. I'll be back soon. Don't worry. Three, two, one. Goodbye from from the the LaPaul Podcast Show. Show.